Just going off for like a little walk on my own and I stumbled across no. this. Yeah, exactly. No. You can't believe that's no. built for a bicycle. The white's going up. It's a dry waterfall. The most unrideable chute and steep line I've ever seen. The man I'm about to pick up is a master of creativity, control, and style when it comes to riding a bike. He has no problem hitting the biggest jumps, doing the sickest tricks, and seeing potential where no one else can. The man who's about to pick me up is no stranger to the perils of the mountains. He summited the highest peaks on all seven continents and thinks nothing of charging the steepest lines and sending the biggest cliffs. And despite all that, we're both absolutely blown away by the event that we're on our way to. Yeah, it is so crazy. Yeah? Wild what these dudes are doing. I can't wait, man. Yeah, let's hit the road. So, Johnny, what do you know about Red Bull Rampage? Well, I think the main idea is for the riders to get from the top to the bottom of one of these mountains with as much creativity and style as they can. On a mountain bike. On a mountain bike. How wild is that? Yeah, it's almost as insane as me rocking a toothpick within two hours of being in America. <laughs> so I guess for us, this is a sort of synergy of our two sports. Totally. Good mix of free skiing and mountain biking. I mean, it just seems crazy to be sending it down these rocky faces, like in the snow. It's like you have giant pillows everywhere. It's just soft. Like, look out here, it's just cliffs and rock. It's not nothing I've ever seen. Nothing soft about this landscape. But you ride bikes at the top level, like sending these slope style courses. What's so exciting to you about this event? It's a biking event, but the only true similarity is bike riding. This whole landscape, the terrain, the format of the event, the size of the jumps, I've never been a free rider and this is just so far out of my domain, I can't wait to experience it. Igneous, anamorphic, sedimentary. Sedimentary, I think yeah. this. Hang on, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. That could be it. Yeah, pull in, pull in. Yo, Carson! Why have we got to be up this early? Why are we up so crazy early? We gotta go dig. Dude, it's like freezing cold. I know. <laughs> it's kind of crazy in the desert. It's chilly. Why this start though? Why don't you just start later? You try and just pack in as much build time as you can. You so you do full days, dawn, like pretty much dawn till dusk? Eight the days. sun's only just come up, yeah. Eight days, full, full days. Okay. It's kind of what you need. All right, we'll see you up there, buddy. Yeah, yeah see you up top. good. That's yeah. fine. Hey, uh, that's not the way up. We can't right. use this. Well, you can, it's just slow and boring. Take this one. <laughs> All right, <laughs> sick. That's a better deal. Welcome to Red Bull Rampage.
Dude, I had no idea how big this place actually is. It's massive. It's vast. Like both the height and the width of everything. Can you see the top? It must so be far. up there. That's the longest right. course I've ever seen for doing like jumps and tricks down. Right here you can see is the Rampage 101 starter pack for build crew. This is what you get, this is what you're given, this is what you come with. We got the shovel, spade, pickaxe, rake, most importantly, hose. These tools transform a mountain into a, a rampage. Wouldn't be rampage without the tools. Down. Breaking rocks, carrying rocks, wheelbarrowing rocks, shoveling dust for eight days is a lot of hard work, especially along edges like this. Canyons either side, up and down mountains. I know you hike up mountains in ski boots, Johnny, but would you do it with a wheelbarrow full of dust and rocks? No. no. I don't think I would either. It's a lot of yeah. a lot of fighting through odds that are against you out here. Yeah. Rock! I can't think of any other event in sports where competitors are building the stage that they're about to compete on. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to think. Reply in the comments if you can think of one. I can't believe the time they spend up on this hill. Like everything is just loose underfoot, never stable. It must just wear you out just being here. Just whatever it's like. Yeah. Slippery. This is slippery. This is harder than Everest. Yeah, again. No way. Yeah. I can do it. Yeah. I'm trying to pretend I'm not out of breath walking halfway up. <laughs> right, Brendan, how's it going, mate? Good, yeah. Good, mate. How important is it for you to work with specifically these two guys? Um, you know what? Like, <laughs> we've, this is our seventh year. We've been digging in the dust and rock and picking away. And I think what I've come to learn over all these years is it's like, Half the half like the thing is like keeping the morale up through the day. We've got eight days to build and one day is the event, you know. So it's almost more important to have good builders and a good crew around you than actually being able to ride down the hill at the end. Because otherwise you're going to have nothing to ride down. So like keeping the morale high and every day like getting stuff ticked off is super important. So yeah. We have to get deeps in because people were nicking our tools. <laughs> oh, so it's just security. security yeah. The French. Say no more. <laughs> Remy Metallia, you know you are. If you had to put a percentage on the build and you just doing your job as a rider, how would you split it up? 70%, 75% build. No way. Yeah. Well, or more, like we wouldn't have any features. What more? 85% build, 15% rider. Because you've got to build everything to ride down it, you know? I mean, we obviously yeah. need the rider to have some skill, but we, he wouldn't be here without the without the diggers, that's for sure. How do you personally feel being part of the team? I actually feel very lucky to dig for someone who actually puts so much work in. Like, Bren gets amongst it, we have to take the tools out of his hands. Yeah, so first time here, a little digging here at least. What was your kind of emotions actually arriving and knowing you have to dig top to bottom on this sort of stuff. It's scarier than Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it. Have you ever built anything like this? Nope. I think there's nothing like this. Even if here. you ride like outside of here, it's still massive, it's big, it's hard. It's not Rampage. Um, yeah. Good training, but there's no training for this. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is just yeah. so big and so exposed. I think more exposed than big, uh -huh. so everything's definitely doable and trickable, it's just like, you can't mess up. Holy shit. Did he hit that? Look at the sandbags right in the middle. I'm embarrassed to ask anyone that this is even a jump. <laughs> you can't jump to there. But that whole, the whole line leads into this. Where's your landing? <laughs> we should know, but it's actually up for, like, it's a question that needs to be asked. Look at this stuff. Who knows where it leads to, where it comes from. Madness. How many years since you rode the event? 
Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, you don't have to answer that, actually. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of this site? This site? I like it because uh, it's the first time we've been up in the rocks, in the bushes, and normally it's, you know, exposed like this, but it's kind of unique up here, a little different. Is it steeper than that it one? It is. It's the steepest and longest one. Tell us about the history of this event, kind of what, why it happened in the first place. A lot of that revolves around Josh Bender, who moved out here from Alaska and was trying to find something that had, because he was a big skier, right? And he wanted to find something he could do on his bike to hit big lines, but yet would be safe enough. So he drove around and found this area and realized that the potential was massive here for landings and stuff with the soft dirt and building was really good. So he moved here and was like, oh my God, this is like the crossover for big mountain, big mountain skiing to biking. So boom, rampage. That is That's insane. Sick. I didn't know that at all. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I didn't know that this, the event was kind of like derived from skiing in yeah. AK. Mountain biking just made it better. Way better. Apparently it hasn't rained here for 150 days. That's a fact, that's an insane fact. But the hose water like, just allows all the dust to turn to usable dirt. It adheres to each other and it can like, actually be packed and built with. Otherwise, everything you move just ends up at the bottom. It's, yeah, yeah. it's like building sandcastles or something. You gotta have like, the watery sand to It's exactly make it like work. that, Johnny. It's just like building sandcastles. Just like building sandcastles. These dudes are out here building jumpable sandcastles. Yeah. Like maybe 2016 was the first year we had like full access. Yeah. 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 We just grabbed my backpack. Saver. I remember it might have been 16, but the first year they had running water was the first year that everyone landed a run and no one went to the hospital. So it's like just shows how much safer it gets when you can pack things in. Yeah, it's like people like double flips, but then they also like the natural stuff. But you can't double flip into a rut or out of a rut. So beggars can't be choosers. You're going to have a mixed bag here, aren't you? You're going to have true steep, loose free ride, and you're going to have well sculpted jumps with the big bangers. That's the well rounded run you need here. How's things looking from there, Johnny? It's looking good. A lot of big features around here. Why are you on a rope? For safety. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Like you'll see here, there's this big landing. They're coming off way up there. Yeah, so over there, someone's jumping off the top, over and down. You can kind of see the landing. It's really crazy the scale of the stuff these guys are doing. Yeah, I'm out here dangling on a rope for safety, and these dudes are sending it on a mountain bike down this stuff. Wild. Wild. There's a ton of kind of intersecting lines. Wonder how they work out. Like, do they share some or? I know that riders do team up. A, to get more done on certain jumps and features, but B, because there is a limited amount of space. And I think that brings its own sort of politics and conversations, but surely there's good bits and bad bits. Yeah. You, you want the good bits. Yeah. We're just trying to uh, get our heads around stuff. You're going off that drop there, right? Yeah, I'm coming off the left. How'd you get to it? Because the ridge ends, there's a landing in the way, and then yeah, I'm gonna roll down and then hit the landing and pop. What, by the top of it? Yeah. Oh, sick, okay, yeah. it does make sense. It's, it's pretty good working with everyone. Just sometimes it's hard, like here, Brandon already had his landing last year, and then I'm like, oh, I'll just come across the top. So I'll probably have to pick out that yeah. so it's more mellow. Because right now it's a splat on his, but yeah, pretty much good. Like this is all by myself, but we've worked together on the big drop at the bottom with everyone. It helps the team up for sure when you've got a lot on your plate. Yeah. Just getting here, you know, and like riding someone else's line that doesn't really happen. Right. We're just trying to trying to do my own thing as much as possible. It's like really limited. Like if you get here first, then obviously like first year, you get to choose almost fully, but then it's also a lot of battle, like who's gonna choose what ridge and whatnot. But now it's, yeah, I didn't really have a lot of competition there. Strong tan by the way, or is that dust? Sunscreen, and then dust on it. It's definitely not as good as it looks. You can see like 30 different takeoffs from here. You must have like laser focus on your own line. So as you can see, you got a really, really dangerous, really dangerous python. <laughs> uh, seriously though, there's a lot of dangers to digging here. The cliffs, the high drops, rocks falling on your head, and there's genuinely rattlesnakes here. There are rattlesnakes, there are tarantulas. It's true. Dude, that one guy even got hit by lightning. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, it was over on the old side, over on the top peak. We're sitting there talking about a shovel and a spade. 
it was arcing between it and I was the ground. So my eyes, my teeth, they were glowing blue and I was just frozen. I was charged up, jumped off a cliff and it hit me again. Oh yeah, just one of the many thrills and fun things about Rampage. Well, yeah, this was just like the same distance. Obviously we haven't dug in the middle out, but we've just put some, uh, put some height on the landing, put some spice on the lip. How big is it? Uh, 55 foot, lip to lip. Does that feel like 55 foot, Johnny? Feels bigger. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Sounds bigger. Looks bigger. Smells bigger. <laughs> Ready? There you go. Is it going now? Yeah. Ready, Dix? Is it clear? Hang on. Put your leg. Three, two, one. Always <laughs> 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 oh, the light. Oh. On the end! Oh! Nearly over oh, the top. Imagine your femur was between that. <laughs> all, the way, all the way over there. Yep, all the way over right. there. Ready, Johnny? Come on then. Oh my god! We got. There? Yeah. That's awesome. Excellent. Don't shake its hand, this is. <laughs> huh? I don't know. <laughs> we know we gotta go all day, so we're like. Yeah, Real easy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been four days of digging now and the guys are finally getting some tires in the dirt, hitting some of the features. It's pretty cool to see like all that hard work pay off a little. I'm literally rubbing my hands together waiting for bikes to start riding off this stuff. I can't wait to see some action. We're quite interested to know what it's like when the shovel's been in the dirt for days and days and days and now you're actually going to pick up the bike and start guinea pigging new jumps. How's that feel? Yeah, we're stoked, man. It's been a it's been a pretty heavy week building, and you know, I hope everything we build is right. And yeah, stoked to get on the bike for sure. You got faith in your your own building? Yeah, I mean, some stuff you always I don't know. Hopefully, everything works. There's some scary stuff, man. I think like if you want to win this, you need to. It's all here, you know. Not it's in your head. We hit it a few times. Yeah, it'll we're be dialed, good. you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, I was hiking. How's it feeling? Good? Sick. Yeah, I got a good session this morning. And everything's almost done, so we're gonna hopefully, well, I'm gonna hope the wind dies down a bit and then just work my way down, have sessions here and there. Yeah, sick. Yeah, just taking, yeah, dude, taking her slow. Yeah. Trying to learn all the speeds and just yeah. Yeah. stay calm, you know. Yeah. Have fun with it. Totally. It's all fun to ride. But... It's been insane figuring out the perfect speed to go, especially when you're doing tricks like 360, because as a rider, you see what we see from this angle, which is nothing apart from a takeoff. You know where the landing is, roughly, because you built it, but you can't see it. And that makes it really, that must make it so difficult. It's going from here? Yeah. It's cool to see like when one rider goes, like kind of everyone groups together, everyone migrates to the same spot and it's quite interesting. People are kind of working together on the same features to figure out the course together. I think it's such a, a crazy gnarly event that you need kind of camaraderie and not direct competition. I think it's important that these riders are kind of like uniting to get through their lines that they've worked together on. So that's kind of being displayed now. People are having a chat together, hitting features together. It's really cool to see. And we're seeing tricks, so it's been a banging session. Oh, it's sweet. Did you land? Did you land good? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it fast? Yeah, yeah. Did you come in really? fast? You got uh, kinda. But yeah, look. not so fast. Just big pop. Oh yeah. Feel good. Hit that. Oh scary. <laughs> when you when you hit oh the jump for the first time you don't know the speed and you don't know what yeah, to expect. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately it was good. Yeah, sick. <laughs> oh two riders, eh? Box in three. Yezing! Yeah, Yezing! Yeah, Yep. Quite a lot of atmosphere now, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool energy that I think you miss on actual event days, like the whole build up and then now that they're hitting the features, it's like yeah. 
sick energy around there. Man. The first runs are, for me, scarier than the big tricks. Totally. There's more unknowns hitting something for the first time than there is double flipping it. Yeah. It's, it's stressful, especially as a digger, because you want to you wanna be able to enjoy it, you know, watch, watch <laughs> them shred it, but if it's not working, it's not working, and there's a, you know, you don't want to see anything happen, so you got to yeah. get everything as good as it can. Yeah. 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 Dude, that was so sick. Thanks, man. That's what. That's the biggest jump I've ever seen with my own eyes. <laughs> it's so sick, man. Yeah, bro. I'm up. To actually watch it all go down. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. It's cool to just get in amongst it and kind of understand the features a little bit. It adds a lot of value to the experience, doesn't yeah. it, for us? Because I, I actually probably am quite naive. I've watched this on TV and thought. I could probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Yeah. And like, yeah, my expectations were way off. I can't do any of this stuff. Yeah. Well, not not the runs. I think that's what's cool. I think a lot of riders would look at someone else's run and say, you're crazy. But everyone builds it to their like specification. Yeah, totally. So they know what they're capable of. And I've always found when you build something yourself, it's way easier to approach. You're just going to send it. Yeah. Because you have faith in your own build. Yeah. Yeah, that's so a everyone's good point. super confident and headstrong about their build. Yeah, but then they must just look at everyone else's line and just think, no. Yeah. I actually feel nervous watching riders go off stuff. Like I'm just stood here fly on the wall watching, but you do kind of feel your heart racing because there's so many unknowns and we've been walking yeah. around and we've been taking it in, haven't we? Like the levels of danger, if you like, and now it's kind of becoming real. I get genuinely get nervous watching. Yeah, super, but it's like so exciting to see their hard work kind of paying off. And you can tell the riders are excited too. Like after spending all this time digging and then to finally be riding stuff yeah. they're just like whoo like they're psyched and so it's like yeah. it feels good to watch that it's probably more of a relief than it is like scary yeah we're just like finally we get to yeah. ride the thing that the conception that we came up with a, a year ago or a week ago you know yeah totally yeah. yeah yeah nervous and excited yeah and the diggers too kind of seeing the get their boy doing their thing is sick yeah we've been like brendan just rode a little section of his line and then pushed up was getting hugged by the boy they're all so yeah. excited aren't they yeah yeah it must be awesome yeah I kind of wish i was more involved now. <laughs> i know it's like yeah. it's cool to just be here though like see it all go down it's exciting yeah definitely mate yeah definitely. then we have lunch we like right we can go to work now mornings we'll just moan about how much in the money mornings, you just, you, all you just say is just oh it's an evening job <laughs> and so, like oh, and see. now it's a tomorrow job yeah it's tomorrow tomorrow morning tomorrow morning <laughs>